nice to meet you, Debbie. Thank Congratulations you. on Nativity 2. Thank you. Um, what can we expect to see in the sequel? What's different from the first time around? Yeah, it's, it's hard doing a sequel because you have to try and uh, think of new ideas and yet keep the ingredients that everybody liked from the first one. But this time they go out of their natural safe environment into a challenging new world. They go on a road trip to Wales yeah. and uh, they get lost in the wilderness and have a real proper adventure with whitewater rafting and mountain climbing and caves and uh, yeah no it's really really fun and um, Mr Poppy is even more hilarious in this one and gets up to all sorts. Why do you think kids love Mr Poppy so much? Because he's a big kid isn't he so he's really on their level but he's a grown-up at the same time and I just think also being a, in the school education system to have somebody so anarchic and crazy and risky and um, chat you know just up for anything um, they just adore that idea because school is often very rigid and it's where they have to behave. So Mr. Poppy's all about, let's unpick that, let's go crazy, let's have fun, and let's learn through a completely different process. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm an advocate of Mr. Poppy, and I actually think there should be people like him in every primary school in the country. There, yeah, I've said it. <laughs> The first one must have been incredibly stressful to make with the children, animals, improvisations, Mr Poppy, and you've made it more difficult for yourself this time around by going off on the road and doing the, all these stunts. Um, so what, what convinced you that you wanted to do it again, to return to all that stress? Well, I think it's a bit like having a baby, you know, you forget the pain after it's happened and all you've got is the lovely baby. And that's what I felt about the film. I sort of loved the film and I love that everybody loved the film. So I forgot about the pain, thought, let's do it again and let's make it even more challenging. You know, I like to challenge myself. Um, so more children, more babies, you know more stubborn donkey and yeah let's go off on a, on a road trip with them all it was actually do you know what it was brilliant fun it really was honestly it was and you yeah, um, we talked about the changes perhaps the most obvious change is that you've got David Tennant in this time I mean, yeah. did you originally think that Martin Freeman was there ever a time where he might return or and when he didn't yeah no absolutely I think um we did think and Martin thought too that we'd we'd probably would do another one and we were we had plans for it but um Obviously, you know, he decided that he wanted to be some funny creature in a, in a, in a film, you know, hairy toad oddity, yeah. you know. So I said, look, if you want to go and do that, that low key thing, uh, Hobbit thing, that low budget stuff, if you want to keep doing those kind of independent <laughs> movies, that's up to you. Um, uh, there's all, my door's always open. Um, so yes, luckily for me, David Tennant uh, came into the film and, um, played two characters, yes, you know, which Martin never even bothered to, you know, <laughs> ask if he could. Um, so David's obviously more generous and obviously more talented because he can play two characters at once. <laughs> um, and were you ever tempted to make any other changes? Because obviously Mr Poppy comes back, but and, and it's the same class as in the first nativity. Were you ever tempted to make any changes there? Well, I did have to lose some of the older ones in that class and replace them with new, younger children. So it's a mixture of, of the old class and some new little ones. Um, but I think it was important to keep some of the children there because they knew what to do and how to be. And um, it all came together very quickly, this film. And the, and the new children fitted right in to the class. And uh, the youngest one, you know, was four years old. And she went on that trip all through Wales and everything. And she was just brilliant. And the children actually believe that they're on a school trip, you know, because they, they're not complicated about things. So they were like, this is fine. We're on a school trip. You know, OK, there's a camera, but um, we're just doing what, what we're, we would do on a school trip. And so it, it was lovely. So I didn't want to make too many big changes because I know what works you know, practically about it.